Welcome everybody. Today we are going to make some homemade laundry detergent. I'm Jill with One Good Thing by Jilly. Uh, this comes from a reader's comment that was left on a blog post that I did about making homemade laundry detergent, but this has become my go-to laundry detergent. We call it how to make a year's worth of laundry detergent for $30. So it's a great um, money saving and it's, it's good for your clothes. It's good for um, your washing machine. So I think you're going to really like it and it is so easy to make and it's so fast. So we'll get started by showing you first. The first um, ingredient we use is something called Fells Naphtha Laundry Bar and Stain Remover Soap. There is actually another um, laundry bar called Zote. There may be other ones. Those are the only two I'm aware of, but this is the one I use. It's called Fells Naphtha and you're going to use three bars of it. I've already ha I already have two here in my blender and I'm going to show you how I do the third one. Just to make it a little bit easier to blend up, I just kind of cut it up quick with a knife that I'm not too fond of and put it in your blender. Another tip is, you can also do this in your food processor if you don't have a strong enough blender. Uh, another tip is to take a little bit of one of your other ingredients, which is um, oxygen bleach, and just put it in there, I don't know, even just eyeball it a cup. This kind of helps your blender um, get it all blended. It just has something to work with. So I'm going to put the top on securely and then we're just gonna blend this up so we get it finely grated and I'm just going to pulse it. And I probably did that for 15 or 20 seconds because you want a really nice fine grate. That is really nicely finely grated. So that's exactly what you want. All right, the next thing we're going to do is add all of our ingredients. And this is what we're doing. One box of borax. This is an all natural um, laundry detergent booster. One box of uh, washing soda. Kind of looks like baking soda, but it's not. Uh, you'll also find, you'll find both of these in your laundry detergent aisle. You might have to search a little bit high or low, but they're there. They're both all natural and they both just help boost the soap, uh, make your laundry work that much better. Then two cups of baking soda, not the whole box, just two cups. And then two containers, and these are three pound containers of oxygen bleach. Um, I buy the generic kind because it's so much cheaper and um, it works just as well. And then this is optional, but I like to put a couple of bottles of fabric softener crystals in it. But if you don't want that, it's perfectly fine. It will still work just as well. Uh, this just makes it smell a little bit better and I really like that. So. What we are going to do is put it all in my high-tech laun uh, laundry detergent making bag, <laughs> which is, in other words, a kitchen trash bag. And I will double it just in case. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I go to mix it all up, it's much easier to put it in a trash bag and just tumble it, then put it in your container than it is to put it all in the container and then try and mix it up with a spoon. Trust me, done that, it doesn't work very well. Okay, start with our soap. Pour it in our doubled trash bag. One box of, whoops, washing soda. This is so easy. I mean, there's no, literally no measuring except for the two cups of baking soda. One box of borax. Don't get concerned about the borax. Some people get all excited. They think it's something chemical, but it's not. It's a totally natural sub substance. And then I've already measured two cups of baking soda. Baking soda is really good in any cleaning because it helps lift stains and it's um, a very, very mild abrasive. So it's really good for your laundry detergent. Then two containers of any kind of oxygen bleach you can get your hands on. I bought it at the dollar store too. There's a brand, I think it's called Sun Brand, but much cheaper than buying the name brand. And then one more. And what's fun about these is you can reuse these for different projects. So I hang on to those. They're great for storage, especially like craft items and little girls' hair bows and hair bands. And then finally, two containers. Um, do one to two, depending on how much um, smell you like in your laundry detergent. One to two. I like two because I like I like a good fresh smell. Whoopsie. I'm making a mess there. 
And that is it. I mean, how easy <laughs> is that to make your own natural laundry detergent that is going to last so much longer than the name brand stuff and it has nothing you'd be afraid to have on your family's skin. Now, I'm gonna tie both of the bags, the inside one and the outside one, just to be safe. Um, I did, it, <laughs> the first time I did it, I did it with one bag and got a little puncture and it was a mess. So I decided to double it. And ever since then, I haven't had any trouble. So then all we do is tumble, 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 tumble. If uh, you need to, you can put it on the floor, but works really easily right here on the cupboard and I will do it several times because you want it really well combined because you're only going to use a tablespoon of this for a high efficiency machine and two tablespoons for a regular top loader machine so you want to make sure you're getting a little bit of all of the ingredients in that tablespoon so you want to make sure it is really well combined just give it a couple more and that should probably do it. And then, this is the sneaky easy part. I will take a large container like this because I think it looks pretty just sitting on your washing machine. I got this at Walmart for $9.99. And it's the perfect size actually for this amount of laundry soap. And then all you do is take the corner of your bag. If you want to get both bags in there, so snip it off and this one takes this takes a little bit of muscle so you can get whoever's nearby if you need help <laughs> and pour it right in there I was so excited the first time I did this I'm like this is the perfect size container because it fits just perfectly and there you go. You have just made your own homemade laundry soap that costs less than $30. Looking for my tablespoon, there we go. And will last a family of four a year. For our family, who has a lot of boys in it, we're a little bit dirtier than your average family, so it doesn't last me quite that long. But honestly, you only need one tablespoon for your high efficiency washer or two for your your favorite top letter. And that is it. You just made your own homemade laundry detergent for $30, less than $30. And it's something you can feel good about for your family. There's no added chemicals in it. And um, it's really great for baby clothes too. We get a lot of questions about baby diapers. Perfectly fine for baby diapers, completely safe. And it's perfectly fine for your high efficiency washer because it's very low sudsing. So the first time you use it and you don't see very many suds, that's perfectly normal. And that's good because you don't want a lot of suds, especially in your high efficiency washer. There you go. That's how to make your own homemade laundry detergent. There is a post on the website. So go to www.onegoodthingbyjilly.com and you can see uh, additional photos and more detail about how to make your own laundry detergent.